Hey girls, my name is Jessica Rosemary. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. So if you're interested in learning how to melt your lace from start to finish, then keep on watching. Today's video is brought to you by Love Me Hair. I went ahead and got the body wave in 20 inches and also in 150 density. Prepping and plucking. So this wig is pre-plucked, but I still went ahead and plucked to my liking. I recommend beforehand to decide if you want a middle or a center parting, just so you do not over pluck in that area. Once you pick the area that you want to part, all you have to do is just define that parting with your tweezer. And be careful not to use a fast hand because you might think that, you know, it's looking good and then once you're all done plucking and you like finish, you're just like, oh my god, you know, what did I do? Because you know, it's over plucked. I decided to not fast forward this and just use this in real time so you guys can see how slow I'm going. So now we are finished with plucking and we are now with prepping the wig. I'm going in with my favorite, you guys know this, my Fantasia heat protectant spray. And I decided not to go in with my Garnier Fruities anti-frizz because I wanted to test out this hair. I wanted to see if the hair is good on its own with no product and you guys, I've been wearing this hair for like about a month now and... I won't lie to you guys, this hair is good. It's so silky. I'm going in with the popular method, which is the chase method. Basically, you're, you're combing, wash, flattening your hair at the same time, and it's just leave you with that really silky effect, just like this. There are really two options in melting your lace using lace tint by using this product but if it was up to me i would recommend using lace tint only because makeup sometimes it can give you that ashy flashback makeup has a whole bunch of oils and stuff so your best bet is using lace tint what also helps you achieve a flat install is basically just pushing all your baby hairs back before you lay your cap i typically use got to be glue cream the gel but i did not have that with me at the time so i ended up using the spray and it's just as good as the gel these are the two main colors that they have like a pure beige or a beige and a chocolate so i went ahead and applied the chocolate because it's closer to my skin I'm spraying the Got To Be Glue spray all over my baby hairs, all over the front of my hairline, around my ears. Do not forget to spray a good amount, especially around your ears because that's like the area I like to lift. So once I'm done with spraying it down, I like to sit and just let it air dry. Once the dome cap is dry, you won't feel any tackiness or any stickiness and that's when you can now lift the dome cap, pull it back to where the got to be glued dried at and just cut along your hairline just like this. I like to measure my wig, make sure that my dome cap is not peeking in front of where I want to lay my leg. So at this point, you want to get anything that can different shape from your regular skin tone and just use it to help you pinpoint where you do not want your lace to pass so here you see me applying dots of concealer on each corner of my head this is to help me know that I should not pass that mark I do not always use that method but when I do use it it's just to make sure that you know my lace my front toe my wig whatever just to make sure it's not sitting on my forehead because that's just not a good look So I'm going in with Ghost Bond XL and I'm putting this on top of the mesh cap because this is helping me hold down the mesh cap. This is helping it from lifting or from rolling back. Now we are here about to glue down the lace and I'm just combing all my hair back. I'm pulling all the hairs forward because I want to avoid it just being on my face. I want to avoid it getting stuck on the glue.
I apply about two layers and I comb everything in. I like to do it when it's somewhat clear, somewhat still white. I like to use the comb because the comb doesn't have any oil. So that's the best tool you can use to flatten down the lace. This is optional. I recently started cutting like the ends to my wigs because I noticed that it just makes the wig look a bit more healthy. Just cutting off those straggly ends. I recommend that you try this. Once you start though, you can't stop. So I started this and I've been doing this to literally all my wigs. I just love the look it gives. When I tell you, I was so happy when I took this band off my head. <laughs> OMG, like. Now I'm going in with my razor and I'm cutting the lace as close to the hairline as possible. In the areas that I couldn't reach with the razor, I then used my scissors just to clip off the extra lace. To seal all the work I just did, I go in with the Ebon Lace Spray and it just makes everything melt into your skin. I haven't tried the other two colors but I've been using the red since and it's been doing wonders for me. So I did go in with my Karaka Wax Stick and I'm just making sure that my hairs are flat. So that's what you see me doing here. Now remember towards the beginning of the video I told you makeup can make the lace look ashy. You see an example of that right here. So right now I'm going in with alcohol and I'm trying to see if that's going to help take away that ashy flaky look right there. So using alcohol did help but also applying more makeup on top of the lace also helped me as well. Every time I attempt to do my baby hairs on camera, I just never fall through with it. So it took me like an additional 15 minutes to do my baby hairs, which I did off camera and it came out like this. I didn't want like too much, you know, that dramatic baby hair look. I wanted just like a subtle, calm baby hair. We're now done with melting our lace. So now I was just trying to debate if I wanted straight or if I wanted to curl my hair. Um, and I decided to do waves. I wanted that little layered effect. I didn't do too much with the layering because I just wanted something calm. So for my edges, I forgot to mention what I used. I did go in with my edge booster and got to be glue gel. I like to mix those two together and that's what helped me lay my edges like this. So big shout out to you for making it all the way to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys got a lot of tips and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.